Learn how Ohm's law works and how to use it to solve problems. What is Ohm's law? There is a relationship between voltage, current, and resistance that is easily explained using Ohm's law. The German physicist by the name of George Ohm developed the theory that we are going to explain here. We can calculate any of the three factors that make up the Ohm's law if we have any two of the factors. Here are the three versions of the formula. Voltage equals current times resistance. Current equals voltage divided by resistance and resistance equals voltage divided by current. Ohm's law wheel. The formulas are easily remembered by using the Ohm's law wheel. You may also see versions of this using a triangle. Each of the three formulas is represented by one of the three wheels, with the product we're trying to solve colored red. For example, if you cover the V for voltage, then you'll only see current and resistance. When the letters are side by side, you multiply. When the V voltage is over any letter, then you divide into the voltage. Just cover up the letter you want to solve for, and the formula will reveal itself. Solving for amps. Using a digital meter, we can determine how many amps are flowing through a circuit like this here. If we cover up the I of the Ohm's wheel with an effort to solve for the amps, or current flowing through the system, we can see that the two known values of 6 volts and 2 ohms of resistance work perfectly within the formula. This gives us 6 volts divided by 2 ohms equals 3 amps. Doubling the voltage. By putting batteries in series, you add up the total of the voltage. As shown in the example here, the two 6 volt batteries in series equal 12 volts. By doubling the voltage and keeping the resistance the same, we have effectively doubled the amps. We now have 12 volts divided by the same 2 ohms of resistance to get twice as many amps as previously, 6 amps instead of 3. Remember, since the voltage is always in the numerator position, any time you increase the voltage, there will be an increase in amps if the resistance stays the same. Doubling the resistance. By doubling the resistance and keeping the voltage the same, we have effectively cut the amps in half. The current, or amps, are inversely related to resistance. As resistance goes up, the current goes down, and vice versa. As the resistance in ohms decreases, amps will increase in the circuit. Solving for resistance ohms. To find the R resistance in a circuit, cover up the R in the ohms wheel and enter the two known values of voltage and amps. By knowing the voltage and measuring the amps flowing through the circuit, we can determine the resistance. There are three 6 volt batteries that are equivalent to 18 volts, plus the digital meter reads 3 amps. With these two values, we get 18 volts divided by 3 amps equals 6 ohms. Solving for voltage. Solving for the voltage requires knowing the value of the resistance in the current. Using a digital meter, the amps can be determined. With this, we enter the resistance in amps into the formula to discover the voltage. Voltage is the force that pushes the amps through the circuit, while ohms provide resistance to the current flow. Other ways of measuring. Remember, there are other ways to determine the voltage, current, and resistance in a circuit but this presentation was meant to demonstrate the use of Ohm's law. Voltage can be determined directly by connecting to the terminals of the batteries using a multimeter. 
Measuring resistance can be done with the same digital meter by setting the meter to read ohms and setting the two probes on each side of the resistor. The multimeter has an internal battery that sends a current through the resistor. Measuring current or amps can be done as shown above or by using a clamp-on type of amp meter that isolates a wire. Instead of being connected in series with the circuit, the amp probe encompasses the wire. These clamp-on meters can measure both AC and DC current. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.